Okay, so the next thing we want to address with Morocco is when doing a color scan, and I'll turn that on right now on my scanning settings, put it on color, you need to make sure you have the right lighting. So because we're filming a video right now, we're in the studio, the lighting is actually not good for scanning. We can get a camera to go up top. Direct lighting that, direct lighting overhead is actually horrible. To the right, we also have a big light coming directly at the item and then in the front. So if it's coming from directly above, the sides, or coming at you from the front, really will affect the scan. Because notice this, when I go to the Apple in color scan, you can see all that white light reflecting off the top of it, which will definitely affect the scan itself. Something else I wanna bring out, so right now it's in color. On the preview screen itself, you can disable. It's not actually disabling color mode, but just disabling what you're seeing It's on the preview screen. Why is this useful? Because sometimes when you're scanning an item with color, you're gonna miss the holes or if you're not sure what you've already scanned, but if you can just see it in black and white, you'll be able to actually know what you've missed or not. But if you don't mind, you can also have it enabled as well. And another thing to keep in mind, because the lighting can affect the scan so much, make sure you do not scan outside on a sunny day. That's the worst thing you can do. But if it's a little cloudy, that's not a big deal. Okay, so now for the sake of experiment, we wanna turn off these obnoxious lights that we have going on in here for filming, the bulb one and the side one, and just rely on the normal lighting in the room itself. Looking at the preview page, you can already see the scanning has improved because you no longer have that white light reflecting off the top of the apple. But if you still feel now with turning those off that it's too dark, Morocco has an LED light that you can turn on. And if that's not bright enough, I recommend you use a ring light like this one. And what's cool is Morocco's tripod itself, this is Morocco's tripod, will work with the standard ring light because the screw fitting is the standard screw for most objects. So that makes it convenient for a lot of ring lights. And again, of course, remember what we mentioned earlier, never have the ring light in front, above, on the sides. You wanna have it directly behind from where you're scanning. And as I turn this on, I just wanna bring out, this is the proper lighting you wanna use when scanning a white light, because on most ring lights, you can adjust the color. This yellow lighting will mess up your scan, so don't use that, just use the white lighting. So the next thing we want to discuss and go over is how your setting can affect both the depth camera and the RGB camera. Starting with the depth camera, ultimately auto does a really nice job. It adjusts it so that you can clearly see the point clouds clearly in the preview camera. But if you do want to do it manually, just click it off of auto. For example, here, if I turn it all the way up to eight on the meter, you can see how the depth is off. You start having a little bit of holes and it's not picking up the apple. But if you adjust it all the way down to one, that's ultimately where you want to be. And that is what the auto function puts you at. So it's up to you, it's preference. Then with the RGB camera, there's two settings on it. For one, RGB right here, again, having it on auto does a nice job. But if you do want to make it a little darker or lighter, you can manually adjust that. But then we have a new function called the white balance feature. So pushing white balance, pretty much on the meter, you see how at the very top it's red, very bottom it's blue. That's adjusting the warmth, making the apple appear more warm by turning it all the way up. And then if you turn it all the way down, it makes that red a little more bluish, or more of a cold color. So again, we recommend using auto there, but if you do, uh, understand how, or if you want to change the original color and make it a little more cold or warm, it's totally up to you, then you can do it manually. All right, so now let's try scanning this apple with this bad lighting that we have in the room right now and see how it turns out. So with the depth camera, I'm gonna just keep that on auto. And with the RGB exposure, I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. It's at 42 right now with auto, but I'm gonna bring it down to 22, adjusting to the lighting that we have going on. All right, here we go.
the raw point clouds are looking okay. All right, I'm gonna try editing it now and we'll talk more about that later, but for now I'm just gonna run through the one tap. Editing. Okay, the one tap editing just finished. So the side's looking pretty good. Realistic color even with the bad lighting from up top, but you can definitely still see the white lighting from the lights up above on the top of the apple. So now let's experiment and actually see how we can use this bad lighting to our advantage. Grabbing the skateboard, put it on the table. The bottom of the board has some great color to it. Again, both cameras, the depth camera, I'm just using auto exposure, white balance and RGB camera, auto exposure. Let's see how it comes out. And I'm just because for the sake of time, I'm only gonna scan partially, partial skateboard. Okay, let's edit it. Okay, great. So in this situation, even though the lighting is poor in the room because we're using it coming down an object just as if lighting was coming from behind me scanning something, the color turned out really nice, as you can see on the skateboard here. And again, as Ash brought out earlier in the video, we just saw after editing it, this whole area was blank where the trucks and wheels are. Why is that? Again, because the bottom of the truck is too dark the top part of it is too reflective, and then the wheels are a triple whammy. They're dark, transparent, and reflective. So how do you fix that? Just like what Ash said, you need to spray it first. 